when I was 18, 19, that uh, they diagnosed me with uh, anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa a bit later. I had to shop in kids' stores to for clothes because a size six was, uh, you know, uh, too, too, too big for me. I didn't want to go out because I was scared that the, you know, I couldn't fit through the door, you know, it was so big. I would sleep on the floor um, because I was scared that my bed would break under my weight and I was about 41 kilos at the time, so a bit a bit more than six stone, point a few pounds. I was uh, given a schedule to go to therapy uh, for my eating disorder and as well a mean meal plan, um, but it didn't work. I was not ready to get out of my eating disorder. It was sort of a friend, a comforting thought, a presence that was always there inside of me. And yeah, I was definitely not ready back then to. to it. So when I first started, like I said, Paul, um, it was a way to burn calories, um, so I could eat, you know, indulge in a bit more, but still not gain any weight. And um, obviously, uh, with my eating disorder, it made me quite weak. Um, but I realized that, you know, to continue, Paul, I had to eat healthier to put on weight, and it was a form of freedom. Um, and the thoughts of my, you know, eating disorder, my habits started to fade away slowly. It was not an easy, you know, pole dancing is not a miracle pill. Um, it's, you know, it might work for some people, might not work for others. Um, but it gave me a purpose and it gave me a goal um, to get healthier. Um, and I had so much fun on it that I knew that if I continued with my eating disorder, I would 